we already have a bunch of videos on probability. This time, it's all about experimental probability. What is it? What makes it different? And how do we solve problems involving this? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, napag-usapan natin ibang topics on probability. If you haven't seen those yet, we talked about yung probability in involving coins, dice, playing cards, at iba pa. You can click right here to watch those videos. Ngayon, it's all about what makes experimental probability different but before we do that just a quick little plug if you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the philippines one way that you can do that is through buying our merch you can visit shop.teamlika.com to find out if there are uh, new designs on shirts hoodies caps mugs and things that i designed for this team sa mga bumili na maraming salamat sa bibili pa lang maraming salamat din and if you can't afford to buy one right now that's perfectly fine again this is just another way that the entire team all of you guys can pitch in to make sure that we can keep making free content for all of you. So, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung lecture natin on probability, specifically experimental probability. Now, bakit ko kailangan yun i-point out? Kasi there's something called theoretical probability. At ito yung napag-usapan na natin sa ibang mga videos before. We talked about yung kung paano makuha yung probability when it comes to rolling a die, when it comes to flipping a coin, drawing a card from a deck of playing cards, balls in a bag, at iba pa. Nakalink din ng mga yan sa description box dito sa taas if you're watching on YouTube so you can watch all of those videos. Pero ngayon, hindi yung theoretical probability pag-uusapan natin. Pagdating kasi sa theoretical probability, ang hinahanap natin ay kung ano yung posibleng mangyari based doon sa mga uh, options or doon sa bilang ng mga possible outcomes. Pero... Pagdating sa experimental probability, ang tinitingnan na natin ay yung number of times na an event actually occurs over the total number of trials. Ibig sabihin, meron ka talagang ginawa na experiment. Sinubukan mo talaga na mag-roll ng die o kaya mag-flip ng coin. Binilang mo talaga yung mga nanalo sa isang raffle. Ito yung mga bagay na ginagawa bago natin makuha yung figures pagdating sa experimental probability. Let's start with something simple, okay? Flipping muna ng coin. Pagdating kasi sa coin, meron tayong heads at saka tails. Ibig sabihin nun, if ang question ay ganito, what is the probability of getting heads in a coin toss? At ang ginagamit natin ay theoretical probability. Gusto nating hanapin yung ating desired outcome. Ibig sabihin yung gusto nating mangyari. Now, sa isang coin, meron kang isang side na head. Ito yung gusto nating mangyari. So, that would be 1 over yung total number naman of possible outcomes. Now, dahil dalawa ang side ng coin, bawat time na mag-flip ka ng coin, merong dalawang possible outcomes. Either head siya o tail. So, this will be 1 over 2. Or 1 half or 50%. Pare-preho lang naman yan. Okay? So, kino-convert lang natin siya sa percentage. Or pwede mo rin siya i-convert sa decimal as 0.5. Pare-pareho naman ang ibig sabihin yan. If you need a bit of a refresher din sa so kung paano mag-convert ng fractions to decimal and percentage, ililink ko na lang din yung lesson na yon dito sa i button sa taas. Okay? Now, paano kung experimental probability ang pinag-uusapan? Pagdating sa experimental probability, meron talagang experiment na nangyari. Ibig sabihin nun, katulad ng tanong na ito, Bernadette flipped a coin 20 times and got heads 14 times and tails 6 times. From this experiment, what was the experimental probability of getting tails? So again, may ginawa siyang experiment. And a quick shout out lang kay Ate Bernadette who is a channel member dito sa Team Laika YouTube channel. Salamat sa inyong support. Ang madaling gawin dito would be to create a table. Okay? It's just listing down yung information. Dito sa left side ng table natin, meron nakalagay na outcome. Ibig sabihin nun, ano yung mga posibleng yung mangyari or yung kalalabasan sa bawat experiment, experiment mo. For example, ito yung heads, tapos ito naman yung tails. Okay. Now, titinan natin yung frequency. 
Ang sabi nun sa tanong is, meron daw heads 14 times. So, ibig sabihin ang frequency niya ay 14. At ang tails naman ay 6 times. So, dito ang frequency niya ay 6. Now, another important thing na kailangan natin tingnan ay yung total. Okay? Total nung maginawa mo sa experiment na yon. Sa natin yun makukuha, i-add lang natin yung 14 at 6. 14 plus 6 is 20. Now, nakalagay din siya sa totoo lang dito sa tanong na ito. Pero in some questions, hindi siya sinasabi. Now, now that we have yung information na yan at yung total, makukuha na natin yung experimental probability. Now, kanina sa theoretical probability, ang probability of getting tails, kahit gaano ka pakarami yung trials uh, na iniisip natin mangyari or kung isa man siya, now, paano na natin kukunin yung experimental probability? Titinan natin yung ating formula dito. Ang hinahanap natin, the number of times an event occurs. So, ibig sabihin na hinahanap natin ang probability of getting tails, that would be 6. So, siya yung number na nasa taas. Over yung total number of trials, which in this case is 20. So, siya yung lalagyan natin sa ilalim. So, ang experimental probability of getting tails is 6 over 20. Or, kung ating i-reduce ito sa lowest terms, pwede ko siyang i-divide pareho sa 2. Okay. This will be 3 over 10 or 30%. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nun, meron kang 30% of getting tails. Now, again, kung titinan natin, i-compare natin siya dun sa kanina na uh, we're just dealing with theoretical probability, ang sagot dun would be 50%. Pero ngayon, experimental probability, basing dun sa ating ginawa or in-execute na experiment, 30% siya. Okay? Now, para mas mapagbangga natin ito, let me cover this next scenario. Okay, sa case na ito, nag-roll tayo ng die. Ito yung mga naging kinalabasan niya. We have yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 na pips. Tapos ito naman yung frequency niya. Ibig sabihin, nakuha ko yung 1, 7 times. Nakuha ko yung 2, 4 times. Yung 3, 2 times. Yung 4, 8 times. 5, 2 times. At 6, 7 times. Okay? Tapos ang challenge natin ngayon would be to answer yung ating table. Dito sa left side, meron tayong theoretical probability. Sa right side, meron tayong experimental probability. Okay? Now, here's the challenge. Paano natin ito sasagutin? Isa-isahin natin siya. Sa unang question na hanap, ano yung probability of getting a 1? Now, kung theoretical probability ang basihan natin, we don't really care about the frequency. Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi natin ito kailangan intindihin. Dito lang tayo dun sa possible outcomes. Ang total number of possible outcomes ay 6. Okay? Now, ang getting a 1 is just 1 na gusto natin maging outcome over yung total possible outcomes which is 6. Now, kung experimental probability naman ang titignan natin, kailangan natin malaman yung total na kinalabasan nung, or total number of attempts sa ating experiment. So, i-add natin yung 7, 4, 2, 8, at 2, at 7. That would give us 30. So, kung inahadap natin yung experimental probability of getting a 1, titignan natin ngayon yung 7, siya ang magiging numerator, out of yung total which is 30. So, it will be 7 over 30. Okay? Now, gagawin natin siya for each column. Next, ang sabi, what is the probability of getting an even number? Now, ang 1 ay hindi even number. Dito muna tayo sa theoretical probability. Ang 2 is an even number. Ang 4 is also an even number. At ang 6 ay even number. So, ibig sabihin nun, tatlo ang gusto natin na outcome out of yung total which is 6. Now, kung titignan naman natin ang experimental probability ng getting an even number, ang importante natin tingnan na information would be yung katapat nila. Ibig sabihin, ilang beses lumabas ang 2, that would be 4. Ang 4 ay lumabas naman 8 times, at ang 6 ay lumabas 7 times. And now, I have to add them. 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 7, so that would be 19 over 30. Now, dito tayo sa huling tanong, getting an odd number daw. Ano ba yung mga odd number natin? You have 1, 3, and 5. Now, dahil meron kayong tatlong possible na outcomes na pasado, 
out of the six, pwede nat- natin sabihin na ito ay one half, kagaya nitong sa even number. Okay? So again, if you notice, may equal shot ka of getting an even number as you have sa odd number pagdating sa theoretical probability. Kung titignan naman natin yung experimental probability natin, tignan natin yung katapat na frequency niya. You have 7 plus 2 plus 2. In that case, you have 7 plus 2 which is 9 plus 2 which is 11. So the answer is 11 over 30. So as you can see, iba-iba yung sagot. No? Maaring pareho, maaring uh, magkaiba doon sa theoretical probability at like experimental probability. Again, you ask yourself, meron bang ginawang experiment? Kung may ginawang experiment, yun ang magiging basihan or yung resulta ng experiment na yun, yun ang magiging basihan ng experimental probability. Okay? Now, the best way for us to gauge if naitindihan nyo talaga is through a quick quiz. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So using experimental probability, kasi sabi dito, it is a list of pets picked at random in a pet park lottery. Ang hinahanap natin yung experimental probability na ang mapipili ay number one, not a dog. So iba-iba yung condition na dinescribe, hahanapin natin siya based dun sa ating information na ito. Now kung makikita ninyo, you have ilang total na pets. You have nine plus one, that's one ten. 5 and 5, that's another 10. 4, 4 and 2 is another 10. Ibig sabihin, ang total natin ay 30. Na kung medyo naguluhan kayo doon, ginamit ko lang yung chunking na technique. Ilalink ko na lang din dito sa taas if you're watching on YouTube para mapanood niyo yun. Okay? Now, we have the total. Pwede na tayo magsimula. Una, not a dog. So, hanapin natin yung mga hindi aso. You have yung mga puspins kasi they are cats. Siamese cats, who are also cats, and of course, yung Persian cat na pusa. The rest are dogs. So, hindi sila qualified sa not a dog. 5 plus 5 plus 1 is 11. So, ang sagot natin dito sa una ay 11 over yung total, which is 30. You have an 11 out of 30 chance na ang mabubunot mo ay hindi dog. Next, ang sabi dito, a mixed breed. So, ang mixed breed, ibig sabihin, may halo, hindi siya purebred. So, ibig sabihin nun, pwede siyang qualify dito yung ating as pins, which is 9, at yung push pins natin na 5. Pareho kasing mixed breed yan. So, 9 plus 5 is 14, over yung total, which is 30. Next, ang inhanap ay yung mga purebred cats. So, hanapin natin sila. You have yung Siamese cat natin. 5 at yung Persian cat na 1. So, 5 plus 1 is 6 over 30. Now, again, your teachers will probably ask you then na ilagay sa lowest terms itong mga to. 14 over 30, that would be 7 over 15. 6 over 30, that is 1 out of 5. Kung kailangan ninyong i-convert sa percentage or sa decimal, pwede nyo rin siyang gawin. And again, yung lesson naman dyan ay nandun din sa description box natin sa baba. Alright? Now, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Marivilla on Instagram for new quick quiz questions that we post natin sa ating Instagram story. And if you want the throwback quick quiz questions, you can go and check out at Team Laika rin on Instagram para sa ating mga quizzes doon at mga important announcements din ng ating mga events. Okay? Now, if you're on TikTok, you can also follow me. Meron tayong mga bagong mga videos at mga quizzes din sa at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational videos and sa at Laika Maravilla for the more personal stuff, mga challenges, vlogs, motivational videos, tips, at advice. Alright? See you online.
All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and nakmag exam din sila. Natin yung salamit ay matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team Laika. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos na pag-uusapan natin sa susunod. I would hate for you to miss those. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now. Alright, thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want more, you can click right here for another lesson. And if you want to get to know me better, we have the second channel, yung Like a Marabilia Vlogs. You can click right here to find out what happens behind the scenes or to get to know me a little bit better. Alright, I'll see you there.